All right, as you can see, we are back with the last song uh, of Porcupine Tree's Fear of a Blank Planet album that was released in 2007. And we are going to play Sleep Together. I had a similar dilemma. Do I play the song off of Spotify, which I don't like to do? I'd rather do it off of YouTube, but um, YouTube Porcupine Tree has like a video of, uh, it looks like a robot uh, in the um, thumbnail with on a keyboard and or I can play another live concert video um, live in Tilburg uh, sleep together and so you have two seconds to figure out what I chose the robot computer video or the live version one two you're right. You got it again. You guys are awesome. You know me so well. It seems like most of you, some of you guys are still learning. But yes, we're going to do the live version. Uh, let's get right into it. Why don't we? Sounds decent. Sounds pretty good. This means out. Yeah. 
Gavin's timing on the drums is so impeccable. It's amazing. the computer guy. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's the end of Fear of a Blank Planet. Super cool, man! I love those keyboards at the end. That was that was a great touch. Super neat, man. I I, I want to go see them live. I I looked into it. There's no way I'm going to be able to go uh, on this uh, particular tour that they're doing. Hopefully, they'll extend it and they'll come around again and whatnot. Um, super awesome though. That was amazing. Really cool. Uh, I just love watching Colin play, man. I, bummer he's not going to be in the new tour, but I, I dig watching him play and I dig his bass playing itself. So cool. And Gavin, of course, just, I just drool over his abilities and his technique and, and his craftsmanship. Um, building a song is just amazing. He, I love that where he did that simple thing and pa he just he just popped that snare man it was perfect it was so good it's amazing how he has control uh over the actual sounds by the way he hits you know the drums and the cymbals and things like that you know it's it's all technique to get different sounds out of the same uh drum it's amazing i love how he's playing playing along like a sounds like a regular beat but his feet are going you know, he's, you know he's, he's just hitting that double bass um, down there with his feet and just it's incredible it's a really incredible drummer uh, and just and Steven is incredible too just dig his lyrics I dig his guitar playing so cool I just love watching him play guitar and his chord choices and his lead guitar uh, is so um, it's just so appropriate for each song it's really really good Ah oh, man, I just dig, I dig them, don't I? I just keep saying it over and over. I can't, 
can't stop saying it. Well, I can't believe that's another album down. I just thought, well, here it is. It's only six songs. I might as well just play the other one. And uh, we have now completed Fear of a Blank Planet. That's incredible. Another, another um, Porcupine Tree album. Let's see. I was just going to take a look real quick. So uh, I finished The Incident, Fear of a Blank Planet. Arriving Somewhere is over on my Patreon. I did Dead Wing, In Absentia, uh, Light Bulb Sun, Stupid Dream, uh, Signify. Uh, let's see. That's a lot. How many is that? I didn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. All right. So I have done eight complete albums of Porcupine Tree. And fortunately, there's at least that many more to go. So that's a cool thing. Now we just need to figure out what's next. Where do we go from here? Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure I want to do anesthetize because I just did a couple of songs from other albums because that's a live album, I do believe, is it not? Yeah, that is. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe Octane Twisted. I don't know what that's about or what's the uh, what's the sound of no one listening? Um, what is this? This is like greatest hits or something or is it not? I'm not sure. No, I don't think it's, it's some kind of remastered, though. I'm not sure what that is. You guys are going to have to help me out with that. I don't know. I can, I'll look it up. But uh, give me an idea where we should go. Should we go Voyage 34? That might be, I've heard you guys talking about that. Something to check out. Oh, there's four songs on it. Four songs for an hour and nine minutes. That is awesome. Ooh, that might be it. That might be it. Okay. All right, well, let me know if Voyage 34 is the way to go. All right, so uh, we'll see you down in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.